I feel so lucky to have met up with Ludmilla. We've run into so many checkpoints. I don't know what we would have done without her passport. I don't think I ever would have made it alone. But as we travel through these wide open spaces, enemy troops are few and far between. Actually, we've been on this road for quite some time now without spotting a single Estevakian military vehicle. It looks like our luck has just run out. These men are partisans. A Marian like me. Ludmilla stares at me. I can see the fear in her eyes. I tried to I explain to them that Ludmilla is no threat. She is a student from Nordnavik. But I've never been much of a liar. She definitely speaks the language, but with a thick Estovakian accent. Don't waste your ammo. Just then, something roars in the sky above. Hey, look! What's going on? I know it's our it's only chance of escape. Get in! Hurry! On the battlefield, you have to put luck aside and take what you get, good or bad. My fellow countrymen were killed instead of me, and that gives me an eerie sense of relief. But now I've got to accept the fact that I am the next target. It's time for me to dance with the angels. Then I'll give you the lowdown on our mission. Small unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles, and heavy command cruisers are all closely related in terms of functionality and have been uncovered as the enemy's secret weapons by our analysis results. We have collected missile and small unmanned aerial vehicle samples, as well as radar records, analyzed them, and came up with the following. First of all, the small unmanned aerial vehicles are operated from long distance and approach their intended targets to destroy them. In step two, a special electronic signal inside of each small unmanned aerial vehicle is sent to a cruise missile for guidance. And for the final step, the cruise missile that was guided by a small unmanned aerial vehicle hits and destroys its attack target. That is how the enemy's cruise missile system operates. Small unmanned aerial vehicles and cruise missiles are both launched from the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Once launched, they are operated from the heavy command cruiser via remote control. Our Joint Chiefs of Staff have drawn up a plan to destroy the enemy's missile system based on these analysis results. In order to conquer the heavy command cruiser, a constant barrage of attacks from the air is absolutely indispensable. First, we need to get a springboard to launch our plan of attack. We're about to head south to retake Cavalia Air Force Base in San Loma. Our objective is to retake Cavalia's air facilities, then establish a front line to destroy the enemy's missile system. Once the runway is secured, we should have a decent chance at taking out the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Enemy forces will be heavily deployed from land, air, and sea. We'll be doing all we can to deal with them, but I'm sure they'll be ready for us. Success or failure of this mission will very likely have a significant effect on the war. Put everything you've got into this one. Talisman, 
Which plane should I pick? How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off. operations for attacking the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Wait now, all enemies are on the northwest route on your way to San Loma. This is Jeffrey. We're going to destroy all defense facilities along the bottom ground. Destroy all enemy ships dispatched offshore of San Loma. Take out any enemy forces obstructing our landing. We can't let them take the city. San Loma's got some pretty tough defenses. Going in alone would be much too risky. Guess we better lay off the stunts today.
Enemy tank has been destroyed. Missile. Connecting ESM for Garuda 1. 